Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today we're going to be doing, courtesy of Uncle Brian, a Coleman's four cheese sauce. What are those four cheeses you reckon? Mozzarella, cheddar. Camembert. Camembert. <laughs> really rad of one to choose. Does it say? Parmesan. The four cheeses in it is Emmental, Stilton, Mozzarella and Parmesan. We got two right. Makes enough for four servings ready in two minutes. Wow that doesn't take long at all. Instant meals hey. Brian what are you doing to me? I love to cook and this is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me, isn't it? Like, I hate to cook and I'm loving it. We're going to do it with penne like they have on the cover here. What I have prepared to put in our pasta. Tim's going to be happy. It's peas. We've got broccoli and we've got shallot and we've got bacon. To mix the sauce, you need 300 ml of skim milk, which is, which half, is half, a half a pint. pint. This is courtesy of Brian. This is her pussycat apron. The beautiful pussycat apron. I'm going to measure out how much to put in. Look at that, that's my stuff. Are you feeling calm about this one tonight? No. <laughs> Skim milk. Put that into the pan. One packet of four cheese sauce. Put that in. I just want to mix it in. They say you shouldn't use metal utensils in these pans, but this is a special saucepan that you can use metal utensils on. Mm. So it looks like it's thickening up. Looks all right, doesn't it? It's good in there. Is that parsley in there? Maybe. Isn't that a surprise? I've got to bring this to the boil and then turn it down to simmer it. It looks like it's blended quite well, doesn't it? The packet mix is an oil that we don't really hoard very much. Never. In the meantime, we've got this heating up and we're just going to throw some butter in. I don't know where my spoon is, but that's all right. We'll throw some butter in. What are you after? My favourite spoon. You know how you have a favourite spoon in the kitchen? Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my, that's my baby. Just whack some bacon in. Mm, Give it so a little far. bit of a how are you going. Are you stressed yet? No. No. I would be if you weren't doing that. It smells nice, that face then. So now I'm going to put the broccoli in. Oh, really? Yeah, why not? You don't think I should? Yeah. Well, you seem so surprised by this step. Look at us cooking in the kitchen together. This isn't thickening up, huh? It should do, though. I would think that that probably would have some sort of thickening agent like flour or something in it, like corn flour. But don't worry, I think it will happen. It's like when you're making a white sauce. And you use the butter and you make like a... a Lots of white sauce, I've never made that in my life. So like for when you make cauliflower or gratin and stuff. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I need my peas, where are they? So I'm going to get the peas and pop those in. It's boiling now, yeah. this bubble, so I'll yeah. turn it down and simmer it. And it's thickening, see that? Yeah. And I'm going to put some shallots in. Here it comes, the Coleman's four cheese sauce. Excuse me, who's cooking this? Oh, what do you think of this? Looks yum. Actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? See, I'm happy to eat this one. I've cooked it with love for you, honey. Oh, That's brilliant. That's the best I've ever made. This looks beautiful. I think the bacon was a good idea. Did you hear that? That was my stomach. Oh, was it? Time to taste it. Mm, put a bit of cracked pepper on it, Tim. Mm. Well, it's very tasty. You mm. can certainly taste the cheese in it. Tammy can't talk, she's eating it so much. <laughs> I actually like the cheese sauce in it, and it's funny because like it's not smothering it, because there's not a great deal of the sauce, but you don't need it. There's just enough to mm. coat the pasta. Mm. And it goes really nice with the things that we put in it. The bacon's beautiful with it, actually. Tell me, would you have liked to eat this? Because if you want, come over and I'll cook it for you. Just got to come with a pack of Coleman's, I'll provide the rest. Honey, mm -hmm. we can't even have family over at the moment. How are we going to invite people from overseas here? Yeah, we've been in lockdown for five weeks and we can't get our vaccinations. We booked in how long ago? Ages. Seven weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Really, really like this. This is actually something that I would eat again. It's a nice, mm. cheap meal thing. And what I like about it is that you can still put your veggies in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. The cheese sauce is very nice. You can taste the different cheeses in there too. You can, can't you? I'm surprised because mm. the pack was just powder. Magic of science. You must dry the cheese out and powder it. Pretty much like they do with Parmesan cheese. Years ago, when I was a kid, that's what Parmesan cheese was. It came in a can. 
Oh, there. See. <laughs> that was hissy, everyone. It wasn't an earthquake. I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. This is my favourite so far. Mm. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending this four cheese Coleman's mix. We really liked it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.